Well, you're in and you're out. Red Lake and early ice go hand in hand. And up here in northern Minnesota, we finally got good ice and it's time to get after some walleyes. You know, one of the neatest things about Red Lake, too, is this is one of the best places you can go to catch early ice walleyes. I'm going to auger a couple holes, stick around. We're going to show you how to catch them this week on Fish Ed. <music> This is one of those times, got him, where you drop down on fishing. I mean, we pulled in here, and I, th these fish were already here. We were we were running a little bit late this morning. It was deliberate because we wanted to be careful with the ice being his first time out of the year. Look at that walleye. It's a dynamite way to start the day right here. But you know, one of the things we've done is when I drop down, I put this bobber rod down first, and I always set up with the same same routine. And this guy, he's going to go home with us, so I'm gonna get him unhooked and get him in the bucket. But I set up with the same routine all the time. I set up with Frosty, okay? And that little jig adds a little bit of flash when that minnow's running around. But what really turned this fish on is when I dropped that darter down, that bobber sat there for a few minutes and then I dropped that darter down and I started working that. And those rattles must have just tuned this guy up. And I'm not sure how close he was, but he just came flying in. A couple things here on Red Lake that we've got going on right now. First ice, the wind was blowing pretty good before it iced up. And that's why we've got some sheet ice around us. But what it did is it made the water a little bit dirty. So you want to use a presentation early in the year, especially in these shallow water areas that we're fishing, that has rattles, provides a lot of action. Because you know what? Those fish will come charging in. And whether they hit that darter or hit the dead stick right next to it, doesn't much matter to me. So that fish comes up through the hole. It's a great start right there. Boy, that was one of those fish that you work and work and work and and this guy oh look at him oh yeah look at that guy what was really cool about this fish is he came up and he looked at it a couple times and you can see where he's hooked he didn't eat the back end of this thing he was going up and down with it and what finally triggered him to grab that darter was i dropped it down below him and it got him to go down and then i pulled it up quick like i was just trying like it was a fleeing minnow trying to get away and he came racing up and grabbed it that's just a, a prototype darter fish and they're so fun to catch when they hit that darter because they absolutely crush it but i want to talk a little bit about location here with this fish because i'll tell you what it's really important that you be on the right spots right now most people are out fishing basin areas in, in red lake is known for not having a lot of structure but what's really cool is if you can find a little bit of structure like we have here there's a small little rock pile here and and i'm not fishing right on the edge of it but what i am doing is i'm fishing just out off the edge about 100 yards away from it and it's it's still that same basin but there's a magnet there for them and at this time of year these fish are still in those same spots those rock piles those shallow little areas where they finished up in the fall so on this first ice remember that get to those areas where there's a feeding area because they haven't dispersed yet and gone out all over the whole basin. You can get fish and you can really make them trigger when you're in an area real close to structure because they're here to feed. It is so cool how fish will just appear on these darters. And that's what this one did. I mean, he just, all of a sudden, he just showed up. 
And, and that that line, that red line down on the bottom, just boom, he was there. I lifted that darter up and he smoked it. You know, I really want to explain how I fish these Lindy darters too, because I know a lot of people go out and they fish them and they bounce them up and down a little bit. And if they don't get a fish right away, they get frustrated with them. But this is the kind of bait that what you really want to do is spend a bunch of time working because there's a whole bunch of walleyes like this one that fall for this thing nonstop. And it's a great big fish bait. The number one thing I do is I work it in a lot of different cadences, okay? I'll sit there and I'll I'll do this. Sometimes I'll go up and I'll touch the top of the house, okay, with my rod tip. And then I just let it swim back down on that slack line. Sometimes I'll stop it about two feet above bottom and then just jiggle it because this darter will just go like this, okay, and look like a wounded bait fish. These rattles inside there are constantly being engaged when I do that kind of thing. And then I'll just sometimes swim it. When I get a fish come into the screen though, I don't just keep doing the same thing all the time. That's when I start working my way through all of those different cadences. And a lot of times I'll get a fish to bite, coming in just like that, all of a sudden, boom, he was there. It was just that one swim and he grabbed it as soon as that bait turned and headed back towards center. So keep that in mind, work a lot of different cadences. And the other thing you wanna pay attention to is I've slowed down just a little bit today because we are dealing with a cold front. It's the first major cold front up here of the year. So I slowed it down just a little bit and it seems to be triggering fish. But what you also got to do is pay attention because these things will come flying in on you because this is the kind of bait that draws a reaction strike. One more thing, when you're picking colors, you can look today, this is the red tail color, okay? I like early in the year, especially when we don't have a bunch of snow on the ice and when I'm fishing fairly shallow water like we are here, I'm fishing a natural color and you can see this silver, this is, a, you know, it's, it's got some orange to it to try to draw a fish in from a distance, but that silver is a natural color and fish are already tuned into chasing that color. As the year wears on and we get some snowpack, that's when I'm going to go to some of my glow colors and some of my brighter colors. Keep all that in mind and you'll catch a lot of fish on this style of bait right here. Well, there you go. It's a great day out on Red Lake. Early ice out here is a lot of fun and that's a four fish walleye limit to go home. The key to catching these fish today was using a bait that brought the fish in from a distance though. They're still cruising areas where they're eating and you gotta get them to you unless you're gonna move nonstop. And it was pretty easy for me to sit tight on one spot and catch these fish by using a bait like the Lindy Darter because it just calls them in from a distance. Hey, the other thing that I want you to pay attention to is where my house was set up today. There's a lot of areas where the ice is getting busted up and they're starting to get some snow up on top of the ice. It's darker down there because like we were talking about earlier, it froze a little bit muddy this year. Find the areas like what we're in right here where there's no snow and it's as clear as a bell. You're gonna catch more fish because they can see it a lot easier and tune in on your bait. For more current and up-to-date information, check in with us each week on Fish Ed.